Hey everyone, I'm Pat from Pat's Music, and today we're learning F sharp minor. But stick around to the end because we're actually learning every minor chord that there is. So we're going to start off with F sharp minor. I'm going to show you how easily and quickly you can make every other minor chord. So great job for choosing this video, guys. So we're going to learn the beginning method, then maybe an intermediate, and then an advanced method. So here we go. We're going to dive straight into it. Now, the only theory that you need to know is that the notes in F sharp minor are F sharp, A, and C sharp. They're the notes that you've got there, right? So the A, the third is flattened. If it was a major chord, then it would be A sharp as well. Now, if that theory just went straight over your head, head over to paddavidmusic.com. Everything is explained there in full, guys. But we're going to press on and show you how you play these chords. So let's have a close up and let's check this out, okay? All right, guys, so let's get into it. So you want to start with your second finger. This is the beginning shape. Second finger all the way up on the sixth fret of the third string. Okay, that there is your C sharp. Then you want your third finger on the seventh fret there of the second string, that's your F sharp. Then you want your first finger down below there on the fifth fret, and that's the A. So that's the minor third. That's what's gonna make it sound minor or sad. And that's it, guys. And it's F sharp minor because of the, the notes that we're currently holding down. But if you wanna, let's say, move it back, everything, the whole shape, one fret, you've got F minor. Move it back one more fret, you've got E minor. Back two frets, you've got D minor. So on and so on, guys. So you've learned every single minor chord that you've, you know there. Every, every one. You've, you can play them all now. Well done. Let's press on to the intermediate method. Here we go. All right, guys, so let's check out the intermediate method. Now, this is tricky because you have to bar or you have to hold down multiple strings with one finger, but keep practicing, you'll definitely get there. So on your third finger on the fourth fret of the fourth string, that's your F sharp. You want your first finger holding down the second fret of the third string, that's your A. You want to drop down a string and use the same finger to hold down that second fret on the second string, that's your C sharp. And you want that same finger to hold down the second fret on the first string, and that's another F sharp. So you put it all together. So remember, you've got your third finger here, and all the other strings are being held by your first finger. We'll take a little bit of time, but with a bit of practice, you can definitely get there. And now, Again, it's F sharp minor because of where it is and the notes that you're holding. But if you move it up one fret, you've got G minor. Move it up two frets, you've got A minor. Up another two frets, you've got B minor. All the minor chords are there with that one shape. Well done, let's check out the advanced method. The advanced method, guys, is like you probably guessed, even harder. But again, it's a great bar chord shape. So you want your first finger holding down every string that's on the second fret. So what that means is, is on the sixth string, it's gonna be an F sharp note. Then you want your third finger making a power chord and holding down the fourth fret on the fifth string. That's your C sharp. Then you want your pinky underneath that, holding down the fourth fret on the fourth string, because that's an F sharp. Your first finger, which is still holding down all those strings, is then going to play the second fret and third string, that's an A. C sharp on the second string. And the second fret, which is an F sharp note, on the second fret of the first string. And that's it, F sharp minor. And again, guys, move it up one fret, you've got G minor. And this is a really lovely bar chord shape, because when you've got sort of a nice cleaner sound... Sounds really pretty, that particular voicing, and it's great that you can actually play and hear all the strings ringing out. So definitely go for that, guys. Now, although again, that was F sharp minor bar chord shape, you've got all. Every single minor chord there is. Well done, guys. You've learned the beginner, the intermediate, and the advanced. Great job for making it to the end. If any of the theory went completely over your head and was a little bit too hard, just head over to patdavidmusic.com and it will all be explained there, guys. Which chord, which voicing do you like the best? Let me know. See you all again. Bye.